Yeah. Wake up, Link. Yo, yo, yo. Barack Obama in the house. I got back from my vacation with Michelle to find that my Nintendo Switch had arrived and Zelda Breath of the Wild. So it's about damn time I get to some video gaming. Excellent. What a find, some well-worn trousers. I wonder what's in here. Well-worn trousers and an old shirt. Bernie Sanders would be happy with that. Uh, now you're talking, look at the size of this world. Beautiful stuff. There's more door over there. Mount Doom. Uh, thanks for the baked apple, homie. Monsters? Danger? I've seen it all before, sir. I was President of the United States. You know, Donald Trump claims that I wiretapped him. And he's absolutely correct. I've wiretapped everybody. That's how I know so many secrets about The Legend of Zelda. For instance, did you know that Link was based on Abraham Lincoln? It's true. As we all know, Honest Abe traveled the countryside, giving speeches, freeing slaves, and killing the occasional vampire. It was for those reasons that Shigeru Miyamoto based Link on Abraham Lincoln, also because of the name similarity. Watch for falling rocks. All right. Well, shit, they weren't kidding around, were they? Run, squirrel, run! Look out, everybody. Here comes the impending presidency of Donald J. Trump. Whoa, shit! Dude, you got splooge on my thing. You're gonna void my warranty. Uh, this reminds me, I gotta get back to the White House one of these days and see if my old keys work. You must hurry, Link. I don't know who you are, but you kind of sound like a crazy ex-girlfriend. Before it's too late. You know, if I had a hang glider, I could probably make it over there. Oh, yep, there he goes. Look at that. Give me the hang glider, Santa Claus. You know, sounds like Hyrule Castle could use some repair work. If we didn't have that damn wall, we could call some Mexicans up and get done with it this afternoon. Oh, shit. Did you just give me cancer? Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. I'm Barack Obama, and I'm here to inspect your body. Boy. Uh, why don't you come out? Ah. Ooh, you're kind of uh, different. I'm not even sure our parts are compatible. Uh, there's somebody who needs an ass kicking right there. It's one of those silly little wizards. I'm going to get your ass. You wait and see. How do you like a sword up the ass? Nothing makes me hungrier for roasted bass than kicking a wizard's ass. Ah, uh, that was shocking. I'd better eat another bass. Welcome to the world of ranged weapons, asshole. I think I got him. Let's get some mushrooms, some of these things, one of those. You know, Michelle is always on me about eating right, so I'm going to try to make some food. Dubious food? Damn it. Oh, here's another fun fact for you. The original Link did not have pointed ears, but the guy doing the drawing, he was really shitty at drawing rounded ears. Yeah, 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 the prince. I'm gonna go talk to the prince. Will you just lay off me about the damn prince already? Has anyone ever told you what a big hearty radish you have? I mean, I'd like to put it in my mouth if I might. Uh, just last year, Nintendo released a commemorative edition of the Nintendo Wii U, and it's made entirely out of human bone and flesh. In the middle of the night, when the lights are down, you can hear it moan. And that sort of ended things for the Wii U. Mario Kart! Hey! Hey everybody, it's Morgan Freeman, and this is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Cause bitches got switches. Nintendo switches, that is. Look at that little ass. Look at that. You know you want it. I know you want it. I've been playing Nintendo as long as anyone has, I think. Back then, of course, it was just Mario and Luigi. Mario and Luigi in one screen. You did the thing with the pipe and you did try to get the Donkey Kong down with the to get the lady to have the sex. It was boring as shit, to be honest with you. All this sand reminds me of the last time I went to the beach. I didn't want to take off my shirt at the, at the beach because I've got titties. You know, titties. 
So eventually I did. And somebody walked past me and they said, look, Morgan Freeman's got titties. And I was like, yes, I have titties. Ah, yes, titties. I might not win the race, but I'm going to win for the most times anyone has said titties in a Mario Kart 8 video. <laughs> titties. Look at that. Baby Princess Peach. Dead. Dead at the age of 18 months. And there I am like I don't give a fuck. Because I don't. I went to McDonald's today because I was sad I bought a Happy Meal. There was a Mario toy inside. I ate it by accident because I was tripping balls. I used to have a motorcycle back in the day. I used it to pick up broads. You know, back in the back in the day, if you had a motorcycle, that meant you were a badass. Oh, I banged a whole lot of broads on the back of a motorcycle. Of course, those were different times back then when I was on the electric company. Oh, I ate a whole lot of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I bet you thought I was going to say p***y. I ate some of that too. Single player, multiplayer, online play. Here we go. Let's do this shit. Ooh, look at all these people. I'm going to try to take them out. They're all from different countries. That's nice. You know, in these divisive times, it's nice when we can all put our grievances behind us and race around on the fun little racetracks and we're different races, and yet we are all in the same race. The Mario Kart 8 online race. And the human race. Except for this little Irish fella down here in the lower left. That little fucker, he's a little turf-cutting potato masher down there. Hide your whiskey. He's coming for it. <laughs> Just a little acceptable racism, because if, you know, Irish folks, they don't mind. They're kind of used to a little bit of abuse, but they, ah, shit. Just waiting, waiting my turn to get into a race. Is that the Swedish flag there? The blue with the yellow cross on it sideways like. I'm sure it's got a name. I mean, the American flag is old glory. And then you got uh, the Union Jack, that's a flag. And the stars and bars, that's another flag. We won't talk about that one though. All right, let's see here. We got a couple of Swedes, we got a Frenchie, we got a Schweitzer, and a, a German. Canadian in there somewhere, I think. Come on, let's do this thing. Wait a minute. This track feels vaguely familiar. Yes, it is Excite Bike. I knew it. Excite Bike, one of my favorite games from the Nintendo Entertainment System back in the day. I, me and James Earl Jones, we used to get RC Cola. And um, they still make that? RC Cola? I don't know. Anyway, we used to get a 12 pack of that and a big bag of Funyuns. And we, shh, don't tell anybody. I'm about to tell you a secret now. Me and James Earl Jones used to see how many Funyuns we could put on our dicks. We used to stack them up. I'm not gonna tell you who won the Funyun on your dick challenge, but um, I will tell you that I am I am in awe of Mr. James Earl Jones' ability to stack Funyuns on his penis. Anyway, Excite Bike sure is a lot of fun, isn't it? Well, I didn't finish in the top three, but I finished. And I guess that's good enough. Like I said, nothing brings the world together like this game. I'm not even the best American? Come on now! At least I beat the German. Is anyone else completely creeped out by that dude with the crown? and the penis for a nose. Oh, by the way, one time I saw John Cleese's ball sack. He has very large testicles. Each one of them was the size of a clementine. We were, I was, I wandered onto the set of A Fish Called Wanda, and there was John Cleese in his trailer wearing a bathrobe, and, and his balls came out. And I said to myself, damn, that guy has some big, oh, it's John Cleese. I'm a big fan of yours, Mr. Cleese. Nice balls. And then I ran away. I hope he remembers that moment as fondly as I do. Well, I sure have had a lot of fun playing this here Mario Kart. I wish I had more true Morgan Freeman stories to tell you. But I don't. Not today. But I want you to do me a favor. When you fall asleep tonight, 
I want you to think about John Cleese's testicles. Goodbye. For more videos like this one, subscribe to Game Society. And for celebrity impersonations, check out jasonsvoices.com.